What if the best kept secret in all of plastic surgery is that the very best plastic surgery is undetectable, that you don't notice it? I'm Dr. Nicholas Howland. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon here in Draper, Utah. We're gonna talk specifically today about undetectable results in plastic surgery and how myself and other surgeons are providing the most natural looking results in plastic surgery today. What people are doing to their face in the next year is going to blow you away because we are entering the undetectable era, the time in aesthetics that we've all hoped for and waited for where the procedures that people are having done to their face are not detectable. And if you don't believe me, check out Christina Aguilera's page. She basically looks like she did in 2002. Okay, so that is kind of interesting to me because yes, I agree that we have absolutely entered this undetectable era of plastic surgery. I feel like we've been there though. I don't feel like this is a new sudden shift. My approach to plastic surgery has always been to provide natural results and results that go in line with patients' desires. And so what's really shifted is not necessarily the technology or the procedures themselves, but the trends are shifting. And so we saw this with Brazilian butt lifts over the last 10 to 15 years, where you had people like Kim Kardashian make the Brazilian butt lift and this giant BBL result very popular and it became the absolute trend. And then all of a sudden, as she herself has gone more natural and has had fat removed from her buttock to have a more natural look, so too have the trends gone to more natural. And so even the BBLs that I do right now are very, very, very few of these patients are coming in saying, I want giant ass, like, or just a big BBL. Most of them want to fix hip diff deformities and increase their curvature so they have a more feminine figure rather than just have this giant behind. And this is similar with fillers as well. For years, the trend was to have these very large, filled, overly done looking lips. That doesn't mean that we didn't have the technology or the ability to make them look natural. That was just the trend. I think that a lot of surgeons tend to follow trends, but you also have surgeons who have results that they try to maintain a certain standard on. For me, that's always been something that's very natural looking. When I have patients come into my office, office and they want a particular result that I think is wildly out of line with what I want as a good representation of my work, I give them what I call the billboard speech. And the billboard speech goes a little bit like this. Is number one, I want you happy. Like absolutely, that's my number one goal for you is to be happy with your results. However, my number two goal is that you are my walking billboard and I don't make bad billboards. When somebody wants, say, for example, a thousand plus CC implants or buttock implants that look completely out of proportion with your body or ribs removed, I tell them to find somebody else. For me, those are not a good representation of the work that I provide. And so this journey of plastic surgery is definitely a partnership where I'm providing the patients with what they want, but also providing the results that I think show what my body of work is, which is as natural results as possible. When I see somebody for a facelift, for example, I always tell them, I say, listen, I don't do the crazy cat eye lady facelift. I want it to look natural. I want it to look like, oh, you just, you look a little bit younger. You look rejuvenized. Christina Aguilera, which who he talks about, has this beautiful face that has very obviously has had work done. However, it's not this overly done, tightly pulled facelift that we have seen in a lot of actresses and models. A huge push right now is growth factors, whether that be topical growth factors, injected growth factors, some form of a growth factor being used on the face to improve the quality of the skin. And remember, these aren't FDA approved, but they're being used literally everywhere. Fillers are not gone. but I do agree with this. Growth factors, stem cell derived growth factors, uh, PRP and other growth factors are definitely improving the results and the look that we get. The difficulty with these treatments is they are not a one and done. You don't come in, have it done, and then all of a sudden everything looks better. These are typically applied every three to four months to help maintain youthful looking rejuvenated skin. That can be a huge barrier of entry for a lot of patients, especially when they're wanting to come in, have a procedure, and be done. 
But I think there's going to be a push away from these non-surgical or minimally invasive things for the face and neck. And people, to, I'm just going to be fair here. This is not a sales pitch. People are opting more for surgery because surgery is taking people away from that sort of unnatural look. Skincare is also getting more advanced. People are using actives a lot more. They're being smart with what they use on their skin. And exosomes and other things are starting to enter skincare, which is questionable, but seems to be promising. Okay, so overall, I think a very interesting video. And I think something that is absolutely here. One thing he said towards the end there is more people are opting for surgery because surgery is more and more able to provide a natural looking appearance. And that is absolutely true. Surgeons continue to be better trained, continue to have honed and refined better techniques to provide results that are much better. For example, just with breast surgery alone, when I was in training, a lot of the breast surgery we would do were pretty much just implants. You were doing an implant, sometimes a lift, and that was it. That doesn't really exist in my practice anymore. If somebody's coming in to address breasts, we are looking at the entire chest wall and anything that contributes to the breast. So it's very rarely just an implant alone. We're oftentimes doing an implant, some sort of soft tissue support, like an internal bra, oftentimes a small or a larger lift. We're liposuctioning around the breast to improve the breast look. We're liposuctioning excess breast tissue at the preaxilla, the lateral chest wall area here, and it's giving a more whole approach to the breast. And this is the way that we approach all of our surgeries now, or it's not a simple one and done, but it's really a more whole body approach to provide those very best natural results that are undetectable as uh, this particular video suggests. What's important to understand is this video, there are not really new procedures that are suddenly undetectable, okay? A tummy tuck is still a tummy tuck. A breast augmentation is still a breast augmentation. However, the approach now is coming from a place of making it look more natural and more subtle rather than a very overly done look. And so the procedures themselves have not changed much. The one thing that is new that he talks about in this video are certain types of exosomes and growth factors that can be used to help rejuvenate the skin. But other than that, it's just the approach that's changed. It's not necessarily the procedure itself. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about plastic surgery or about undetectable plastic surgery or more natural appearing results in plastic surgery. You can be reach out to uh, me through any of my social media avenues, or you can reach out directly to us at the office, and we'd be happy to see you.